Hello everyone. So we will continue our PySpark tutorial. So I have logged into my Databricks account. Okay. So what actually I have done? I have created my cluster. Okay. And my cluster is running. What actually I will do? I will I will create a new notebook. Okay. First we are going to revise whatever we have learned till now, and then we will continue. So I am going to create a new notebook, PySpark one. I am selecting a language as a Python and the cluster. Just click on this create button. Okay. Once you will create this particular screen will come. Okay. Now let us try to see and uh, what actually I will do. I will click on this data button. Okay. And I am going to upload a new file. Just click on this create table and drop the file. This already we have seen. Okay. So that is why I am going little bit fast. I am uploading, uploading this employee one and this is the file location where actually I have uploaded. Okay. So I will just copy this file location where actually I have loaded the data. Okay. Now let me go to the my notebook. So till now what actually we have done, we whatever we have learned first we will revise and then we will continue. Okay. So let us see how actually we can create a data frame. So for creating a data frame, we have to write df spark dot read dot format okay and uh, in a format we have to pass what is the format our format is a csv format that's why i am writing csv and then dot load and you have to pass the file location okay this will actually load your file but here actually if you want to pass like whether your first row is contain header or not so for that we have to write option in a bracket header okay comma true okay and this will also will be in this format okay and then we have to execute okay so this is how actually we create a data frame this already we have seen in a previous video okay so it is executing now if you want to see the data frame we can use a display here we have to write display here and you will be able to see your data frame okay this all also we have covered in our previous video now what else we have seen we have seen like if you want to see the schema we have to write df dot print schema okay this print schema will give you whatever the schema of your table okay now Now what else we have seen, we have also seen like if you want to retrieve your data, we can write df.so also. This will give you a data frame result. Okay. And what else we have seen, we have also seen like how actually we can write. Okay. If you want to save in a, any other format, so for that we have seen a df.write.mode on which format we want to save in a csv format and then dot save and then you have to pass the location the dbfs location okay so my dbfs location is this file store tables okay so i will just copy this I go down and then write give the location and give the file name also so i am giving a bbb.csv so this is the file which I am creating and if I will execute this, this will get saved into my dbfs location. Okay. You can see th there is one error. It is showing like unknown save mat csv. Okay. So this is not a df.write.format not mode. Okay. Dot format and then we have to execute. Okay. So this will this is a particular file will get saved bbb.csv okay now if you want to see what are the files are available in this particular path so for that we have seen like dbutils.fs.ls and the file location if you will do you will get to see what are the files are available into this particular dbfs location okay so these are the file which is available and this is the file which we have saved just now okay 
so we have covered till here okay now let us continue okay now what actually we are going to see we are going to see how we can use a select okay so select generally we use it for the suppose you have a data frame and in that data frame if you want to select only the particular column so how actually you can select so for that we use a select okay so how actually we can use df dot select and after that you have to pass the column name okay and after that if you will write dot so this will give you this will only select the user user column and even if you want to pass any other column so you have to pass that so i am selecting salary also so it will select the user and salary okay so that is how actually we can use the select means if you want to select the multiple column so for that actually you can write it now let's move on now let us see like uh, how actually if you want to retrieve for retrieving uh, data okay if the if you have a whole data set like if you have a small a small data set okay and if you want to retrieve so for that we can use a collect if you will write df dot collect you will be this will actually retrieve your whole data set means in a row wise whatever the column name salary whatever the column will be available and their value so for your small data set we generally use a df dot collect okay similarly if you want to retrieve more you can also use a df dot take and suppose only the first four row if you want to see if you will pass the four you will get to see df dot take only the first first four rows okay so what is the difference between the collect and the take in a collect if you want to retrieve the whole data set we will use a collect in a take only for the specific column no, column if you want if specific row if you want to retrieve you can pass it okay and also if you want to see your data set we are we were using a df dot so that is one option right and also if you can use a display df also that will also work so that is how actually we can read our data frame okay now let us move now let us see the next okay uh, now let us see uh, suppose you have a column okay so you have a data frame so how actually we can use a column renamed with column rename suppose you have this data frame suppose if you want to convert this user into id if you want to rename your uh, data frame columns how actually you can do so for that we use a df dot with column rename most of the time what actually happens whenever we get a data set that is not in a proper format okay so in that kind of scenario we have to properly handle our the columns and all in that case actually this helps okay for the data cleaning and all so the syntax is simple df dot with column rename i think this is this one it should work and after that we have to pass dot so also okay now the user got converted into a id so that is how actually you can rename and suppose if you want to rename this uh, attendance as a attn or something so that if you will pass tn first you have to pass the column name and then whatever you want to convert that actually you have to pass okay now your attendance will get converted to a attn okay so that is how actually we can use a uh, with column rename 